So today we're going to build a hydroponic grow system and we're going to grow tomatoes in these. Uh, we already set up our lettuce bed which is working beautifully. Um, we've always um, we've harvested cut a couple of our lettuces already so we figured we'd try the tomatoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to grow five plants so we've got five buckets and we are using this bucket specifically because it has a flat face and you'll know why in a minute um, because of the way we have to drill a hole through here and put a grommet in it so we need the bucket obviously with a lid and then the other thing you're going to need to get are these rubber grommets see they've got a little lip in there and then the hole the pipe fits through it so what you're going to do is you're going to drill a hole through here which is a three quarter inch hole so that's the size of these grommets and then once it's in the bucket you're going to put uh, you're going to wrong one you're going to put the, the small piece of pipe in with an elbow and then this piece is going to come down and then once this is through the bucket wall you're going to put this in like that so when the when the plant is required water because we're going to feed these we're going to filter water through these every six hours for 30 minutes so every six hours the pumps are going to kick on and the water with all the nutrients is going to filter into these buckets it's going to fill up and then after 30 minutes the pump will shut off the water will drain down and it'll get to this level here because it won't go below the half inch pipe here it's going to come into a, a drain pipe like a, um, a, a we've got a two inch pipe and then from that two inch pipe it's going to drain back to our reservoir and then it'll sit there so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure up two and a half inches so there's two and a half inches we're going to take our, our drill and drill our hole there's the hole drilled we'll take this apart Sure that's cleaned off somewhat. Put the grommet in, make sure it sits in nicely. And we're going to take the piping, feed this through. Whoops, grommet popped out. Feed that through and then set that just like that. And you really don't need to glue these because there's not a lot of pressure. It's just water's basically sitting in it so there's not a lot of pressure in it and that's pretty much it what we're going to do we're going to add bricks to it just to fill up a bit of the volume clean them off got a little bit of grass on them four bricks we're going to set them inside like that and then what we'll do is we'll take the hydroton which is Expandable clay. Yep, expandable clay. These, this product is from Germany. Um, we got it online. We've used it in a lot of different applications. It works really well, um, especially we're not using soil because we don't want soil. Um, so this is what we use. You could use, you could use stone. Obviously, you'd probably want to wash it and clean it. Um, but this, but this, this stuff works really well. Um, and then we just fill this up. And as we fill it up, we stop once we get to a certain level. So we'll finish the rest of it and then we'll show you how we do the drainage system. One of the things with the hydroton is it's clay, so it's very um, powdery, it has a lot of residue. So before you even use it, you have to rinse it. So what we decided to do is just kind of rinse it, and you'll see the water when it starts to come out, how dirty it'll be. And it also tests the actual tubes to make sure that they're all kind of working correctly.
Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a two inch pipe, which is our drain pipe. We put an end cap on the end, and then what we've done is we've measured seven inches in from the end, there's a mark, and then every 14 inches there's a mark. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the three quarter inch bit again, and we're gonna drill a hole, which wherever, wherever there's a hole, the drain pipe's gonna drain into the pipe. So, let's see. And hopefully I've got them all lined up. mark where I want to drill. Lower it. There we go. <laughs> oh, that one's in the wrong way around. That one's leaking as well. So, <laughs> so this is a scenario. In typical man I, was, I was not told that I needed to put a filter on the end. That's not true. No. Someone didn't wear his glasses. And because he didn't wear his glasses, he grabbed the wrong hole saw. And in grabbing the wrong hole saw, he then proceeded to make it so the grommets weren't quite working right. We couldn't figure out why. And then he realized what he did. So we are now in the process of getting five new buckets with the proper hole cut in it. As you see, it's a better, tighter fit. See how this is sloppy? And that one isn't, so. And we found that the little balls, because some of them are tiny, we're fitting through and then we're coming out. So what we're doing is we're using a pair of nylons that I'm cutting up and I'm using some of my daughter's hair ties. And we're just kind of putting that on there that will allow the water to come through and then drain out. Actually, it goes the other way. I just yes. did that to test yeah. it. So then it'll go like that. So the water will come up through and out and this will act as a strainer. There, see how that fits nice and tight now? So that should work. Take two! It's all about trials and tribulations. You just kind of giggle and say next time wear your glasses. <laughs> How big a hole would you like cut in these? Probably a good two. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. OCD? Is that what you lie with me? <laughs> it is, isn't it? No. I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay. It's a different shape. Give me the bloody blue lid. It's behind you. If it makes you feel better, you can switch the two so that's in the middle. <laughs> no, I like it where it is. Garden. Okay, welcome to the messy garden. No, it's not really too bad. And these are the tomatoes. Now what we're doing here is um, last year I had kind of the similar varieties and what's happened is I've had some that kind of reseeded themselves. So instead of pulling them out and kind of doing nothing with them, I figured well I would dig them up and hopefully not hurt them too much. You know? And five. All right, so there we are. And I will wash off these root systems and we'll use these to 
start our hydroponic system. So in this instance, you'll see that the taproot system on this is quite thick and long. Now, when we actually put this in the hydroponic system, these actual root systems will become finer and, and fuller, but a shorter thing. And they'll be more like the lettuce one um, that we showed the other day, because it's they're more like white beards. And that is mainly because they don't have to fight for growing down through the soil to get the actual nutrients and the water it needs, because everything will be right there. So now this is the feed line from the pump. And we're going to drill a hole and pop this in there. And then this is going to go down in the hydroton like that. And then the, actually I might drill a hole there. Okay, so that hole I've just drilled for all them is for the feeder tube to go in, which feeds the water to each tank, each tub. And then this hole I'm going to drill into the tube. So water's coming through, it's pumping down into there. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I have my Master Blend tomato, which is 14-18-38. I have my Epsom salt, and I also have my calcium nitrate, which is 15 and a half, zero, zero. And we're guesstimating that this has about 15 gallons of water, so we need to take that and multiply that by three for my ratio to feed. Okay, so calcium nitrate, I need um, 12 times 3 is 36. My Epsom salt, I need 18. And then my master blend, I'm going to need the 36 as well. So in here is our reservoir. Yes, it looks a little icky right now because of the hydroton still. This will eventually filter out. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle this in. And then I'm just going to give it a good stir. Now what's going to end up happening is just like with the lettuce, this will dissolve. And then as the pump system kicks in and feeds, the nutrients will constantly be I mean, the tomatoes will constantly be fed a nutrient-rich water. And like I said, in about two weeks, um, I'll know where the water level is and be able to determine how much of it is going to be evaporating. So then we can add like five gallon ratios back in and then that will just be a 12-12-6. So what I'm doing now is I'm kind of making a little bit of a hole and I'm going to feed the root system in and then it's just a matter of creating a bed and making sure the roots are into the medium so when the water um, comes through the plants are going to be fed. It's actually coming right through. But now, right now, we have four tomatoes starting, and hopefully in the next probably six weeks, if not less, we'll have some kind of tomatoes forming, and hopefully maybe even some tomatoes for the salads, and we'll have our lettuce and our tomatoes growing right here in buckets, and hopefully at some point we can get a greenhouse going and do this year-round. So we'll let you know how it goes. <laughs>